but we're going to bring in our featured artist. Very exciting moment for us. Her name, she goes by the name Brand J. Yeah. And let's bring her in. How are you doing tonight? I am doing well. I'm in. I'm in. Excellent, excellent. You are in the scene as we <laughs> as we were talking right now. So yeah, why don't you uh, why don't you just say a few words, you know, 30 seconds or so and just kind of set up the tune that we're gonna play tonight. Uh, well, this tune's called Streetlight. Uh, it's, it's a song definitely uh, birthed out of empowerment. Um, it's a song that I've connected uh, with a nonprofit organization called Divis, Fighting Against Domestic Violence. And uh, yeah, it's about survivorship and reaching to the community and reaching out towards, you know, uh, love and, and choosing oneself over uh, the violence and over uh, hate. So Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, let's do it, Rob. Let's play that. Unbelievable. One, two, three, four. Mmm. Found my way in. I'm on here reversing back out of here. Rolling backward, avoiding hazard. I'm checking if the coast is clear. Before he make a big mistake, I'm thinking I won't crash and burn. I've seen the signs of the time. Only a fool would return. That perfect potion for heart explosion. You gonna sit around here trying to clean up? There go the keys. You fighting hard against an inevitable. So my process in doing these interviews and critiquing music, I like to go listen first and just get my own experience before I read bios or like look oh, right, at yeah. websites. And so <laughs> it's kind of funny. So right when I listen, I'm like, all right, there's some Lauren Hill. All right, uh, you know, yeah. I'm feeling this. Love her. <laughs> yeah. Love then her. I go to uh, go to the bios. Like, yeah, if you, I, I think you got more fire. I think there's like more drive in your sound. Uh, from the Lauren Hill thing, and you got all these different elements going on. I mean, you got the soul and the funk, you got the hip hop elements. I'm like, is she a rapper? I'm like, no, not really. <laughs> so I'm like, what? Well, how do you place yourself in terms of like a genre? Oh, wow. You know, the thing is, I, I really don't. I just kind of go with what I create and what comes out. Uh, most of the time, you're going to get a soul you know, bass, I'm a church singer, grew up singing in church, so I have the gospel roots that pretty much stay relevant all the time. Um, and then, you know, I hook up with different musicians and different producers and have different, um, you know, compositions that I come up with and write and create that don't necessarily, you know, echo the roots of um, soul music or hip hop or, you know, sometimes, you know, crosses over in, um, you know, into jazz or, you know, sure. more funk or blues kind of, um, uh, feel to it. So yeah, I, I like to consider myself genre fluid. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Nice. I like, yeah, yeah, I like that. <laughs> genre fluid. So you fall into this class, like we've had a few artists come, come through any music live that fall into this class where, um, the video is, it, it seems, it feels like it should be part of the package of the song. And I apologize. I didn't, I haven't gone through your entire catalog. So just looking at this song, the video, the story, to me, it's like, like it's all one. Like it's a, after watching, it's hard, it's hard to separate them. 
Yeah, you know, because, it yeah. really is, uh, you know, a story uh, because, you know, as you can see in the video, you, you really can't tell who the aggressor is in, in the uh, abusive sort of uh, sections in the, right. in the video. You know, you can't really tell if it's the woman that's starting it or the man, you know, it's just uh, an opportunity for either person to walk away. So I really wanted to show that within, you know, the song Streetlight, people think, think domestic violence, they want to grab a hold and say, oh, well, it's automatically the guy. But like, no, it's not necessarily the guy. Violence is violence. And, you know, women are, you know, can be just as guilty as men are in, in the process. So I really wanted to show that because uh, domestic violence, uh, it doesn't come one way. And, right, uh, right. Yeah. So, All right, so who are the people that you worked with on the video and what was your role? Were you director? Were you like yeah, in charge of everything? I, I, okay. I directed it, sort of, you know, wrote this, the concept. I worked with the director, um, Basil Childers. Um, he's got worked on some Netflix original series and he's cool. been out in Thailand for a while. Um, and then Hollywood came out to Tulsa uh, just temporarily and we worked on this project. Uh, it was unique because I was working with uh, and still continue to work with uh, domestic violence intervention services. Uh, Divis here. So for every, you know, 10% of the profits and proceeds that we've been raising to film the video, um, have been going directly to Divis and then also at my shows and things, uh, carrying, you know, packets. And, oh, wow. Awesome. Awesome. So I've been you know, playing their special programs that they have and being involved in the community. So, it, you know, I wanted it to be, you know, a cool video, something that could uh, reach out to many people that are uh, that have been survivors of domestic violence and those who are currently victims going through it so that they can find empowerment to get out of those situations. Um, and so I wanted to really make it legit and uh, work with a real organization that actually was hands down on the ground. Uh, doing awesome. Yeah. And not to discount the story, but I, I hope you continue to make videos at that level is, is just very yeah. cool. I mean, you could see all the work that you put into it. And uh, yeah, it definitely yeah. was community based. We had a GoFundMe. We definitely had Divis highly involved. Um, you know, the dancers are all uh, community based. Everyone's Tulsa based um, editing uh, all the extras, uh, the actors, actually the, the male ca uh, counterpart in the video is my, my keyboard player in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> community effort, really expensive, but a lot of donation uh to get it done and you know i pretty much wanted to develop this concept to see if we could make you know if you support um sustainable art then you also make a difference in your community so my purpose has been you know been traveling to new york city traveling you know dallas austin these different cities connecting with organizations that are similar to divis that could partner with us concerning like street light um, you know, just, cool. I, I just want to make myself available through music to make, you know, a difference. Yeah, cool. And th that's awesome. So other than a bunch of new fans as a result of this show, I'm co of course, but <laughs> nice. what's, what's next for you just in, in terms of the career, like just making more music, more touring or? Oh, wow. Yeah. We have some things coming up, some touring. I'm going back to NYC on June the 13th to do my full debut, debut show there, uh, bringing uh, my band with me. And then I'll also be at South by Southwest this year, uh, official sh showcase artists, um, uh, continuing to work with Divis, you know, have some different touring goals throughout the country. And yeah, so just looking for growth, following, hitting new stages, uh, feeling pretty maxed out in the Tulsa Midwest area. So we've been stretching our limbs to reach a larger audience. Cool. So it's B-R-A-N-J-A-E. Music.com. That's the website where you That's can see all the stuff going on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a pleasure having you on the show, Brand J. You know, Thank please you. come back. We'll, we'll be keeping an eye on you for sure. I mean, Thank this you. is Thank very you. cool Follow stuff. Follow on social media. It's all Brand J Music um, on social media. And then I also have uh, a special group called J Tribe on Facebook where, you know, people get really close and you know intimate with me and get free things and tickets and all kinds of cool stuff so it's nice. awesome awesome, awesome. Have, a, have a great night thank you so much